Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with a, another explication request. This is for the SIE. Uh, we've had some uh, requests accumulate over the weekend. This is Monday, so I'll be trying to knock these out over the course of uh, today. But remember, we also have the Tuesday live stream uh, Q&A, and that's another opportunity if you have any questions. Uh, you can submit there too. If you want to submit early for that, uh, you can just go to the link for the uh, Community Tuesday live stream and put it in the chat, and then you'll be first in the queue for uh, tomorrow night's uh, live Q&A. Um, the best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel, but if you don't already have a Kaplan QBank, and I think this test taker is using the Kaplan QBank as a paid supplement, which I highly recommend. Uh, you know, if you're looking to uh, have some extra questions that uh, reflect the exam and be able to manipulate that QBank, uh, I don't think there's any better uh, QBank than that of uh, Kaplan. Uh, with my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, uh, you can get that for about $44, I think, in uh, 10 cents, I think, is what it comes in at. I'll put a link in uh, both the video description and a, a pinned comment for you so you can find that if you're interested. Uh, for that commercial, Kaplan gives me permission to give you a free look on Kaplan content. So here's uh, today's question. We'll help you with any question from any vendor. It's just easier if it's a Kaplan question because I can bring it up backstage, see what you're looking at. You don't have to cut and paste and do all that kind of stuff. Anyways, in 2011, RST Corp had both common stock. There's no such thing as a corporation that doesn't have common stock. You know, you have to have common stock. Equity precedes debt, so... At $100 par value, you should definitely know par's preferred is 100, 4% cumulative preferred stock. So the first thing we probably want to do is figure out what would that dividend be uh, annually. So we would take par, which is 100, we would times that by 4%, and we would find out that we're expecting to get from this uh, position $4 in annual dividends. Whoop. And we'll put that in green. You should definitely know that preferred stock, you should definitely know preferred stock. Let me just label that. So that's going to be our annual dividend. And we just want to label that to make sure we keep track of what's going on in the question. Boom. Okay. Uh, boy, very important to know that uh, preferred stock has preferential treatment in two areas. It has preferential treatment in liquidation. You know, it's senior to the common in terms of uh, we liquidate the corporation. And most importantly, or germane to this question, it has preferential treatment in dividends. You cannot pay a dividend to your common if you're in arrears to your preferred uh, stockholders. So this is really key word here, non-cumulative. And, you know, the three letters that can change the answer here. Non-cumulative means it doesn't go into arrears. So we have cumulative where it does go into arrears. You know, your phone bill is cumulative. You don't may pay your phone bill this month and next month you owe last month's and this month's. And if you miss it three months in a row, you know, you go into arrears. Wouldn't it be better if your phone bill is non-cumulative? That means if you miss it this month, they just say try better next time. So that is really a key. Uh, well, I think, I haven't seen them yet, but I think that will be a key. So again, RTFQ, read the question. Those three letters there make a huge, huge difference in what the answer may be. Okay, so the preferred stock, like the common stock, and then remember non-cumulative means non-cumulative means no arrears. So let's put that there. You know, the company misses a dividend. They don't, it doesn't go into arrears. They just try better next time. So no arrears. Uh, the preferred stock, like the common, pays dividends on a quarterly basis. So yeah, we should have known that. Stocks, if they pay, pay quarterly. Because of financial difficulties, the company stopped paying dividends in 2011. Now, if this was a cumulative preferred stock, that would have something to do with answering this per question, perhaps. But this is non-cumulative, so it doesn't matter. After resolving the problems in 2015, the company resumed its dividend payments in 2016. It says before paying the first quarterly common stock dividend. Again, I like this question in this regard. It's testing on two things. Do you understand that the preferred stock is senior to the common? 
in terms of dividends, right? And then the secondly, can you figure this out, right? So, so we want to pay a dividend to common. So the board meets and we say, well, we can't pay a dividend to common if we're in arrears to our preferred stockholders. So we're going to have to take care of our preferred stockholders. We're going to have to get uh, pay them that dollar. Now, the reason it's only a dollar is because remember, once they miss a dividend, it doesn't go into arrears. They just try better. There's no, you know, subtotaling of this thing. And so the answer here is going to be, we need to take care of our dollar quarterly dividend to the preferred stockholders. Let me get a bigger font here. And that's our quarterly dividend to the preferred. So we're gonna have to pay. It says uh, how much uh, the company would have to pay a quarterly dividend. And remember the quarterly dividend is a dollar. And so there's no arrears, so they just got to take care of that uh, dollar quarterly dividend. So that is the answer to this question. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your SIE is a cent, yard by yard. Your SE, SIE is hard. Hope to see you tomorrow on the live stream. Again, if you have any other questions you would like uh, explicated, just send them my way. Bye-bye.